Welcome to another MaxUDA video tutorial on importing and analyzing Twitter data. First of all, you will need a Twitter account in order to be able to use this function in MaxQDA 12. If you already have an account, go to Documents in MaxQDA, choose Import Data from Twitter and connect to Twitter. Now, in case you haven't already logged into your Twitter account, you will need to do so and authorize MaxQDA to access. Back in MaxQDA, accept Twitter's terms of use and you can start with your search. Possible search keys include words, phrases, hashtags, and you can filter the data for certain accounts or languages. Please note that only text information can be imported, and that, due to the restriction by Twitter, your search is limited to 7-day timeframes. So, if you want to conduct a long-term study, regular data imports from Twitter are advisable. Now, let's start a Twitter search. I'll enter the hashtag GreekCrisis and press Run Search. MaxQDA lists all tweets under that hashtag published in the last 7 days. I choose Import Data and MaxQDA imports them. This window opens then. Here I can select certain hashtags or usernames for auto-coding, which means that the whole tweet in which that hashtag appears will be coded with them. The hashtags and usernames are sorted by quantity. Press CMD on Apple or Control on Windows if you want to select several hashtags at once. Activate the green check marks and press OK. In the same way, I'll choose some of the usernames from the list and start the autocode process once I'm finished. As you can see, the document browser now contains a spreadsheet with all tweets I just searched and all available information on them. All selected hashtags and usernames are now listed as codes in the code system. This enables you to, for example, find all tweets by one specific user and a high number of tweets by activating the document and the relevant code. As usual, the results will then be listed in a retrieved segments window. Tweets can be coded just as any other data. Just create a code, double click on a cell in the spreadsheet on the right and select the text. And then drag and drop it onto the code or the other way around. Working on your data with this combination of automatic data coding and individually created codes will provide you with some interesting options for your qualitative analysis. With the help of the Code Relations Browser, for example, you can find out how often one of your codes overlaps with a certain hashtag and you can have all relevant examples displayed. There are many more MaxQDA tools that you can use to analyze your Twitter data. Find detailed descriptions in the MaxQDA Reference Manual, which you can either download from our website or find in MaxQDA under Help MaxQDA Reference Manual.